Let's talk a little bit about nudity. We're naked. Yeah. I love being in nature and being naked. I feel like it's super liberating. It's a beautiful experience just to go outside in the morning and not wear any clothes. You can't do that in a city. How do you feel about being naked? <laughs> I don't feel comfortable being naked. <laughs> I feel comfortable being naked in nature. I love swimming naked and I love being in the ocean naked. But I think that for women, it's hard because there are a lot of stereotypes like oh, you are not tall enough, you are not skinny enough, or your boobs are so small, or like what marketing, television, and social media sell us. In my personal experience, make me secure with my body. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time tuning in, remember to hit that subscribe button. We're currently working on building a tiny home out of cob. We started this project last year and we documented the whole build. You can find the rest of the episodes of this build in our Cobb Home playlist. Enjoy! We've been working on the height of the house for a few weeks now. Probably would have been a lot easier just to get more pallets, but it should be really nice with controlling the temperature. And I'm really glad that we're able to do the loft style bed, which is what we wanted to do. It's been a little bit difficult to get all eight sides the exact same height. Laura's dad made us a little table that we're putting chairs and buckets on. This is probably like 12 feet. In Colombia, there are a lot of machismo, so when I'm walking in the street, I don't feel totally comfortable with short clothes. Like sexy clothes on. Yeah. I yeah, am. like guys in Colombia will yell at you in the street, whistle mm -hmm. at you, things like that, where yeah, you don't feel safe. Yeah, and it's disgusting, guys. Nudity has been sexualized, whether it's in the United States or any other country, where being naked is all about having sex, right? It's about looking at someone as an object. And for us, I think it's been really beautiful waking up in the morning, going outside, being completely naked. In rivers or lakes, yeah, bathing in the ocean. outside. It's been a really beautiful experience. And for us, it's been a little while since we've been in a place where we feel comfortable to go outside and be naked. Time for a shower. Whether you make a beautiful window or an ugly window, it really doesn't matter because we're covering it all up with cob. So we used the wood from the pallets and now we're doing the cob part. It has been a journey for me to feel comfortable being naked. And I think it's, it's, it's unfortunate. I think it's sad that our society has turned something so natural into something that's sexualize something that has predators, something that women are, are scared of, of being. Mm -hmm. And whether it's breastfeeding in public, going swimming in the ocean naked, being in a naked community. I went to Burning Man a couple years ago and they have a naked run at sunset every day. And getting naked and running a mile with a bunch of strangers seemed like a crazy idea. And then when I was doing it, it seemed crazy not to. Like, why wouldn't you? Like, why are we so scared to be in our natural state without clothes, without hiding behind anything, just fully exposed? Now we're using our last pallets to make the door frame. I think it's unfortunate that the society make people ashamed yeah. of their bodies. Ashamed of their bodies. And of Say that again all together. I think it's unfortunate that society, <laughs> social media and marketing put a lot of pressure sometimes to look like in a certain way. And I think that it's also our responsibility, like each individual responsibility, to change that, to, to change that 
mindset and understand that it's normal like we came into this world naked and it's beautiful our bodies are beautiful and we need to stop sexualize our body it just is our natural state right so what <laughs> Why, we put the door on, well, the outline for the door, which this is all space that we're not going to have to put cob on, where it was Laura's idea to try to put some rocks along the side to also save us a little bit of time and it looks really nice. What do you think, Laura? I'm very excited. I really love the door frame we have. I would invite anyone watching this to go somewhere secluded where you're probably not gonna run into a lot of people and take off your clothes. And maybe the first couple minutes it feels weird, but the longer you're naked, the more comfortable it is. And when you hit that point where you almost don't even realize that you're naked, it just feels natural. Yeah, I know this might sound like a cliche, but it's very important to start loving yourself. And I think that the first step we can make is just stand up naked in front of a mirror and just appreciate your body the way it is. Naked. Of course, yeah. I say naked. Naked and appreciate your body the way it is. Like, love your body. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you like our channel.